Ecomdash is one of the most popular cloud-based inventory management system in the world. It integrates a standard inventory management feature with listing management, order management, and shipping management capabilities into one single platform. Actually, it's made for a small and medium-sized online retailers who sell their items in multiple e-commerce marketplaces. With Ecomdash, you can manage both your marketplace and e-commerce website sales from one platform. This is Mahmudul from Ecom Clips. We are here to help you to manage your e-commerce business inventory using Ecomdash from one platform. For any marketplace, the most important part is inventory adding. If you do not add the item on Ecomdash with all their required details, then you can't manage the inventory perfectly. Ecomdash helps to prevent the risks of overselling item on marketplaces. In this video, we are going to share how to add item on Ecomdash manually and by a feed file with some quick and easy process. Keep watching. First, you need to log in into the Ecomdash dashboard using Ecomdash account mail address and password. Hover over on the product and click on all products. To create the single item from Ecomdash, click on add new to product. Now we need to add name, SKU and tick mark on the auto sync box. Then click on the create button to list the item on Ecomdash. Now from the detail page, we can add the field information. We can add the quantity, suppliers, supplier SKU, cost price, manufacturer, manufacturer part number, list price, UPC, brand, etc. We can also add shipping information on Ecomdash, like package length, package width, package depth, etc. We can also add the tag and create the tags. After updating all the field, we can add the images. To add the images, we need to click on add images and select the images. We can add the images by URL and upload a file. Now we can swipe the image position to click on browse and from the action we can move up and move down the images as we want. After that we can click on save from the action to save the item on Ecomdash. We can go to product to all product. Our item already lived successfully on Ecomdash. We can update the quantity. To update the quantity we can click action to edit quantity. Here you can update the quantity, update the aisles and bin information. Also add the reason why you updated the quantity. Now we will list variation item on Ecomdash. To list the item, click on add new to parent product. Now we need to add name and SKU. Then click on the create button to list the variation item on Ecomdash. We can add variation on the parent item. To add the variation, click on add variation. Search the variation with SKU and click on the plus icon to add the variation. Now we can assign option as variation theme on Ecomdash and select the variation value. If you need to create the variation option, then click on add new options and add the option name and click on save. You can add new value under the variation option. Click on add new option and add the option name and value. Then click on the save. You can add the images as the same as single item. After updating all the fields, click on save to save the variation item on Ecomdash. Now we can click on manage listing to manage the items details. We can add the title, condition, short description and the listing description. We need to click on the channel settings icon to add a storefront. Select the store and click on add storefront. Also if you want you can remove the storefront from here. Now we will show you how to add item using fit file. Hover over settings icon and click on bulk import export. Then click on view from the manual import information. To prepare the fit file on Ecomdash, first we need to create the template. To create the template, click on add new button and add the name for the template and select a warehouse. Now we need to add the attribute on the template. Click on add attribute and search the attribute that you want to add on the fit file. To add the attribute, click on plus icon from the left side. 
we must need to add SQ number, name and warehouse quantity. Also we can add more information that we want to add like UPC, brand, supplier, bin, etc. Go to back and save the template. Now we need to find out the prepared template and from the action click on get template to download the template. Now open the template and fill up all the fields that we have added on the template. After updating all the fields information on the template, save the CSV file. Now we need to upload the CSV fit file on ecom dash. To upload the file, please click on upload inventory from the upper right side. Browse the prepared CSV file and select the file. Then we need to select the ecom dash template format that we have prepared for the CSV file. You can preview the format to click on show format preview. As these are new item on ecom dash then you can select perform no action and keep the tick mark on the box. Now you can click on the upload button from the upper right side to upload the CSV file on ecom dash. After uploading the CSV file we can check the upload history. Now we can see that the item have successfully imported on ecom dash. Go to product to all products and you can check all of your listed item. Now we will list the variation item using the CSV fit file. Hover over settings icon and click on bulk import export. Then click on the view from the manual import information. To upload the variation item on ecom dash you need to download the bulk parent variation import format. Normally all the ecom dash have the template as default. You can view the template and check which information we need to upload the variation item on ecom dash. We must need parent SQ number, name and child SQ number information. Now we need to download the template from the action to get template. Now open the template and fill up all the fields that have on the template. After updating all the field information on the template, save the CSV file. Now we need to upload the CSV file on ecom dash as same as the single listing CSV file. After uploading the CSV file, we can check the upload history. Now we can see that the item have successfully imported on ecom dash. Go to product to all product and you can check all of your listed item as variation. Now we will upload the variation attribute on ecom dash. To upload the variation attribute on ecom dash, you need to download the bulk variation attribute import format. Normally all the ecom dash have the template as default. You can view the template and check which information we need to upload on the variation item on ecom dash. We must need SQ number, name, variation attribute and attribute option information. Now we need to download the template from action to get the template. Now open the template and fill up all the fields that have on the template. After updating all the field information on the template, save the CSV file. Now we need to upload the CSV file on ecom dash as same as the variation listing CSV file. After uploading the CSV file, we can check the upload history. Go to product to all product and you can check all of your listed item with variation. So this is all about the ecom dash product listing. We try to recap all the key factors to give you an overall idea about ecom dash product listing. Still if you have any confusion regarding this topic please drop your comment in the comment box. We will get back to you with proper solution. Besides if you are an e-commerce business owner and looking for an e-commerce solution provider then feel free to contact us. You can also visit our website www.ecomclips.com to know more about ecomclips. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more e-commerce related videos. Also hit the like button and share the video to help others. We will come back with more ecomclips related videos. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video and be with ecomclips.